previously had men react to red flags that women have about men. Now we're doing women reacting to men's red flags about women. Our women are going to see if they agree with them or if these guys are full of it. If she does any of these things, bro, stay the f away from her, please, huh? and save yourself, okay? But I see this shit all the time I go out. These guys are taking girls out and they're on their phones the entire time. Oh. Major red flag, bro. She doesn't value you or your time. Why are you even Yeah, for sure. Okay. That's a red flag. I'm sorry. I'm like of that. It annoys me to no end as someone is, has all their attention in a freaking phone. I don't care who you are. If this was a first date and a guy was on his phone the whole time, I'd be like, all right, bye. If you're boring her, oh, she wouldn't have to be on her phone. Ooh. Ooh, great point. My friends do that. We do this thing where like if we're eating, we put the phones put all in the front, face down. Yep. No. Yep. And I do think it's different if you say like, Hey, I'm waiting for a phone call. I'm waiting for a specific mm -hmm. email. I might have to check my phone from time to time, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Who are you actually on the date with? Are you on a date with your social apps or are you mm -hmm. on a date with the person? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was cute too, so yeah. I don't know why you'd want to be looking at the phone. Okay, so final decision, being on your phone, is it a red flag? On a first date, yes. It's a date. That's, oh, yeah. that's you and you, like, yep. right? It should be, not you and the phone and yeah. Him. I hate even when my boyfriend's on his phone when he's with me. Contextually speaking, it is genderless. It's not just like a, yeah, women definitely. specifically do that. No, you know, no, it's like exactly. everyone, it's a human issue. This man obviously is offended. He's triggered, yeah. he's, he's triggered. triggered. Number one, if she had a pet pass away and she got a new pet within six months, red flag <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. What? Weird. Weird. Sorry, it's what? Self-explanatory. Yeah, as long as it's self-explanatory. <laughs> Wait, it's Come on. People gotta go at their own pace. I understand that, mm -hmm. especially it's like your child. But some people can't even look at another animal for months and months and months. Some that's what they need. That energy is giving. You take <laughs> so personally, and then you're offended by other people's existence. Yes. yes. Maybe if it was like the day after, then I'll be like, okay, well clearly she needs to grieve first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's six months. Six months is like, okay, well, you know. If your manlyhood is threatened by a woman getting a pet, you got a problem. People cope in different ways and like let people cope in that different way. If yeah. they want love, they just want love. It's not hurting anybody. You're actually helping the dog. You know what I mean? Thank like, you. <laughs> that's a judgy, judgy. Yeah. If I save a kitten and it just happens to land on my lap, I'm not gonna say no to it. Six months is a Six pretty months, normal, a long time, actually. normal mourning period yeah. Yeah. to get a new pet. There's nothing wrong with getting a pet six months later. Mm -mm. Nothing. Okay, nothing so wrong. let's get a final decision. Three, two, one. Not holding up the red flags. No, nope. stop yes. judging. Empathy can go a long way. Love people. Yes. <laughs> like, sorry, yeah. I'm not gonna mourn, mourn that boyfriend for six months. But oh, like, no. Him. Yes, exactly. I have a another one from the same video. <gasps> oh, we same love guy. this. Bonus red Come flag. on. I want to hear more from this oh, Andrew Tate don't guy. Don't always. <laughs> Number nine is if you guys have the same taste in music right away. Red flag. You should mold her taste in music. She shouldn't come with like the batteries installed like that. It's less fun. Wait, this is a joke. Are you f kidding? He's kidding, right? I hope so. Yeah, I don't is know. A, this is, there was a part of my brain that's like, joke. is this a parody? But I don't that's, know. That's He's so joke. like deadpan about it. Just say you hate women. <laughs> my first impression was so spot on. That yep. guy is a douche. <laughs> that's giving emotional abuse. That's giving manipulation. That's giving that's giving ego mania. Giving... He's probably single. He probably watches Andrew T. <laughs> yeah. Why are you fixated on someone's music taste? <gasps> I Why feel like it's a green flag if you share music taste. Like that's a, an yes. attractive thing it's, if someone is I think so share the same music attractive taste. to have the same music taste. Like Absolutely. it's hard to find. If someone start bumping out Usher, I'll be like, hell yeah, baby, yeah. let's get it. You know. If you started bumping out Usher, they'd be like, well, I should mold your music taste. And then I'll be like, get the f out of my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sharing music, that's a love language. Yeah. Like sending yeah. like a little subtle hint of like, oh, this song makes me think of you. Like, you know, it's I so know cute. I know why that guy thinks it's a red flag. Oh, because no one's sending him stuff. He said he's never had that happen before. If he didn't like my taste in music, I'd be like, it's over. He's never had a mixed CD. Wow. He's never had a playlist. Oh, honey, that's why you're single. Giving? Wave the red flag or don't. Three, two, one. Oh, oh out of it. there. I don't think it's a red flag. No. Okay. Well, um, Can I say he's a red flag? Ding, 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 ding. You can absolutely say Great. that. He's yeah. a red flag. Just... The biggest red flag of all time for a girl is if she's a Swifty. Y'all are literally the next coming of Disney adults. You have pedestalized this mid 
pop singer into being the next Beatles or Michael Jackson. Yeah, she has a couple of good songs, but you guys literally base your entire personality around this woman. I've seen countless videos of people at her shows paying thousands of dollars to sit in the last row of the nosebleeds, Whoa. break down and cry because Taylor Swift is in the same vicinity as I you. I bet he loves Andrew Tate. I was literally thinking that, girl. You're going to drop your life savings on two tickets to a mid-concert. <laughs> you're going to spend every day listening to mid-music. And you're going to lose your time with your boys watching football because now oh you're going to have to watch God. it with your girl because Taylor Swift's on the TV. He's getting death threats for sure. Oh, my God. Sure. And he will get death threats till the day he dies. <laughs> okay, hun, how much have you paid for tickets to football some games. sort of football game? Mm -hmm. Football games, you know? Mm -hmm. She's creating a positive impact on girls, so like, why bother? Why be bothered by it? Let them be happy. Yeah. It, he's totally justified to have his viewpoint, but I think that he's in the minority. You can have your opinions about what kind of level of artist she is, but you cannot deny the fact that she is a work hard hustler. The effect she has on so many people, that's power. That's power and you can't deny that. I just think if like you rather watch football with your boys, go watch it with your boys. But if she's like down to watch it with you, like what's the problem here? He's in he love with his best friends and that's why he's so that's mad he they can't watch, watch football. football with them. <gasps> We oh, him out. <laughs> and if you don't like T-Swift, then just like, <laughs> let her go watch it with her friends then. Don't have to make a video about it. Red flag or no, if she's a Swifty. No. Oh. <laughs> Is there a beige? <laughs> okay, beige flag. I'll, I'll no, I'm just kidding. Don't come after me. I don't okay, want to yeah, die. Have a point, Izzy. <laughs> I don't want to die. Okay. I don't want to die. These are red flags that girls have that guys find super attractive. Please. Number two, super jealous. Like he oh, likes that? You, you want me to yourself? You, you want me all to yourself? Just you? That's cute. I mean, you didn't have to track my phone and my car if you wanted Jesus. to know where I was. Oh yeah, red flag. Mm. I will track somebody down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you're like young and you're like, oh, I trust everyone. Yeah, like, sure. I was like, come to my house, hang out with me. Don't do that. Yeah. I'm gonna teach my daughter not never to do that. <laughs> I know my daughter, when she started dating her boyfriend, they're like, I'll share my location with you. I think it's, endearing if they show it a little bit because they care. Yeah. And jealousy is an immediate indicator that that person is incredibly insecure. They are terrified to lose you. They are terrified to lose whatever it is that you are validating within them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would say it's a red flag. Absolutely. Okay. So much faith in this relationship that I don't need to hide where I am. You can see where I am anytime. I actually have no issue with that. I like to track people because they're like my little Sims. <laughs> <laughs> Wave the flag if you agree. Three, two, one. Okay. We both agree. Red, Red flag. flag. I'm gonna say yes, because there's a level. There's a half. level. Yeah. Can we get half point? Yeah. Half. The only way you can actually have true love or like care in a relationship is if you both know how to set boundaries for each other. Jealousy <laughs> is the the start of a very toxic relationship and it can be, but not all the time. I think sometimes it could be just nicely like, yeah. oh you know, I get it's my toy. It's like psychotic yeah, jealousy. Yeah, jealousy. There, there's an extent of jealousy. Drama. Yeah. One, her love bombing you early on, right? Texting you 24-7. Once it's I seen 24 7 is a 90% chance that she's a form of thought or a 10% chance that she's a real one. Most likely you're giving her consistency, right? You're seeing her, y'all probably went on a date. And she's not used to this shit. She used to guys. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, so she's like, oh, I'm sorry. Guys give me real yeah, yeah. yeah, I gotta keep him on my side, so, so I'm yeah. gonna show him a lot of love and affection. Yeah. Fellas, I'm warning you now. Run. It's a female's nature to move slower than guys. So she's moving faster than you. <laughs> he said it's a female's nature to move slower than you. That's yeah. not true. That's a general statement that I believe is not true. Wait, wait. I think it varies. Human nature for females to move slower than guys. As women, we should be cautious. It's a dangerous world out there for us. Men are our biggest predator. I get love bombed all the time, but like, how could I not? How could I not believe them? I've experienced love bombing from female friendships, mm. where people first meet me and they become obsessed with me, they want to be my bestie, they want to hang out all the time, and there's yeah. something so unnatural about it. I am a love bomber to the right person. Exactly. Okay. Yes. And now, it feels nice to be love bombed back. If someone's giving too much and you're not feeling it, that to me makes me want to run even more the other way. Love bombing can be hard to spot, especially when you fall for someone and you have all of these like brain chemicals going and fueling you to do things mm -hmm. and say things that you may not normally say. They're not very self-aware no. of the idea that what, what they're doing could be too much to yes. someone, and I think that's a red flag on that reason. If you're both mutually love-bombing, it's not a red flag. It's not. Okay. okay. You're right, it does have to be yeah. a two -way. It does have it to, be to be a, a mutual, yes. yeah. Love-bombing. Red flag. Three, two, one. Not a red flag. 
You think it is a red flag? I think it's a red flag. Okay. It's a red flag. If it's not reciprocated, yes. Red flag. What's your biggest red flag? Probably when a girl has her Instagram story highlights and it's like Monaco, Dubai, what? Miami, oh. LA, <laughs> and it's like 37 so stories specific. per and Rolls Royce. And by the way, I say this as a person who owns a phantom. Mm -hmm. So oh, no so judgment. But like if a girl ever came into my phantom mm -hmm. and tried to take like a photo of the scene. Oh, he had, like a, he had, a he had to throw that in. He totally had to throw that in. She'd be that good. So he's living the same exact lifestyle, but he's saying, oh, I just don't document it as much right? as you. But like, he's, right. he's doing the same If they have a lot thing. of travel highlights on their story. Yes. Girl doesn't post her highlight stories just to impress dudes. Let's just start off right there. Yo, if you look at my travel stories, yeah. they're 10 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Screw you. Yeah. <laughs> that's not for you, baby. That's, that's for a potential sugar daddy who <laughs> blew her out there. <laughs> he's guilty of it himself, and now he's like being well, negative. Well, he just pulled that in. He was like, yeah. I, I got a rose rose. Yeah. That yes. whole interview was so ironic. Yeah. Because yeah. like, he doesn't, the way he's carrying himself doesn't even match what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's hilarious. Yes. So let's make a final decision. Red flag or not, three, two, one. No. no. Mm -mm. Women are perfect. Live your best life, ladies. No. 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 She's living her best life. Yes. If you have the and opportunity mad, to go to Monaco and Paris and London you're and you're mad that she's living her best life. Go travel. Travel queen. Do it all. Monaco, Dubai. Yeah. Get them. Bring us with you. Get them sugar time. daddy. Get them all over the world. What I want you to do is I want you to go to her Instagram profile and I want you to look in the comment section of her posts. If 80% of her comments are from thirsty men and they are not from women who are her friends, that means that she is not a girl's girl and that means that all the guys who follow I her are probably girl's random girl. dudes from dating apps. It is a massive red flag. I've never been on a dating app. Guys comment more on Instagram yes. to like thirst traps. Like they're the ones responding more to thirst traps. If a girl's attractive, she's gonna get all sorts of attention from her friends and from people that are like sliding in. So I don't, yeah, I don't know. That guy, that guy creeped me out. Some women get are hot. just really beautiful and sexy and models yeah. and they just post because like they're just showing off what they worked really hard for. It's not our fault that men are commenting on those photos. This guy is literally just saying he can't handle a baddie. Yes. We're not gonna say something. He is a hoe. Like, yeah. stay away from him because all these girls are on his Insta. They probably had a hoe face too, dude. Yeah. Everyone got a hoe face. Everyone's gotta have and a hoe face. Should've... Otherwise, li life is way too boring if yeah. you don't have a hoe face. It's just the lack of empathy that yes. men have for the female experience. Yes. I don't get as much attention as her, so I'm mad. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's it's exactly giving, what it's giving. It's giving that. It's yes. like, wet, wet. we're women. Like, you know, like, let us be, Let us be women. Let us just, like, yeah. if we feel good, we feel good. That's right. Know? Guys in the comments. Not, Not a, a red flag. flag. <laughs> Not a red flag. <laughs> no. The men are going to hate me. They are going to hate in, us. In this episode. If she says she's going with the flow, if a girl says she's going with the flow, Bro, she on demon times. You better not catch no fit. Bro, let's go both right way though. Like if you're <laughs> going with the flow. Guys do this mm. all the time. Yeah. I feel like women are more open to like seeing where relationships can form into you. Like that's why it's like going yeah. with the flow. So like if you're into me, I'm into you. When someone rejects them, even in an indirect way, they cannot help but immediately get triggered and yeah. cannot yeah. help but immediately and go immediately on the wait, 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 they're wait, on the defense you know? they're yeah. on the defense or yeah or they pull back yeah you could oh. at least be like hey i'm not interested i really don't know where we're at not going with the flow but oh. in my eyes if you say going with the flow oh it's done i think going with the flow could be a good thing too because yeah. it takes off that pressure of expectation totally so I feel like if someone was like, let's just go with the flow, see how it goes, I'm be like, yeah, but. Going with the flow is so non-committal in either direction. So you just have to decide, okay, am I willing to continue in this kind mm -hmm. of gray area or cut your losses? Yeah. Having expectations is literally the what <laughs> kills you. Yes, it is. It kills you. It is what will disappoint you the most in life. Is it a red flag? Three, two, one. No. Green flag. Green flag, baby. Red not flag or not? Not no. A red flag. No. Mm -mm. All right. It's Three, like two, point one. one. Another point one. A point one. If you just say no, I don't know. But I think a flow is an answer. That's why I'm like yeah. point one. That's not yeah. like even half. I'm okay. not. And I'm not giving any red. Okay. Three jobs. Flight attendant. Red flag. <laughs> Major red flag. They're in a new dude every city. <laughs> Travel nurse. Same. Thanks. They Look at these girls. They're like, what the f is he saying? Bro, bro, 
Red flag. Red flag. <laughs> I'll it's punch like, this dude in the space. Or a flight attendant on a dating app. Bro, you're fing. You're fing. And oh HR. Oh my god. If they're in oh. HR. <laughs> no. If she's on a dating app and she is having sex with whomever she wants, that is her prerogative. And you are also on that dating app. You can app. do that too. They have something against traveling women. It's like, it's like again, yeah. the control it's thing. It's the freedom. It's like, oh, I don't know what you're doing, where you're going. I think you're a hoe. If you're a cheater, you're going to cheat no yeah, matter what yeah, you do. Yeah, cheater is going to yeah. cheat no matter what job you do. Yeah. Travel nurse? Come on. I, I Babe, know. Babe, what if you're dying and that's the only nurse that they have available? <laughs> yeah. You're dead. And the Get HR control. one was just the one he got cheated on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, why HR? That seems that's so... totally separate from Because she will tell on you? Because no. she'll get you fired for your actions? Because... Fine. Yeah, he He's, had an ex who was in HR. <laughs> yeah, that's who what it is. absolutely left him for somebody else that's at the company. What it is for and sure. he is pissed. Mm. If she's a flight attendant or travel nurse or in HR, is that a red flag? No. No. Not a red flag. Okay. Is it a red flag if you're a travel nurse? No. <laughs> if you're in HR? If you're in HR, if you it's have a, red a job? Flag. Oh my god. No. Yeah. Uh, I would say probably like. If Drunk they do stumble. Drugs, if they're a party girl. Babe, you are fucked up. Oh, come on, but isn't she fun? I yeah. Mean, she's fun, dude, but I've dated too many chicks like that that are fun, and then it's like, oh, shit. You're Another nosebleed. <laughs> yeah, it's like you have to fucking hit him with the adrenaline in the heart again. Like, it's just kind of a shit show. Man. He's like, oh, I hate when gosh. women are too fed up. Well, I hate when they're so fun. This blanket statement is just just lacking just real nuance. Nuance. I'm a party girl. I mean, I don't do drugs, but I'm definitely a party girl. So you not know, you. All right, let's get an official decision. Red flag or no? Three, two, one. No. Have fun. In this context, considering the way he's talking about it from like a from like a first date perspective, if that's the way that someone is behaving, yeah. I'm gonna call that a red flag. Red Thanks. flag if they are like extreme and not keeping their shit together, but not if they're just, you know. Beige. Calling that a red flag to you, but because of our discussion. Yeah, you know, exactly. Yeah. There's a lot of yeah, nuance. Much yeah. more nuance. Than a girl who has daddy issues. What does that mean? That's All right, bye guys. <laughs> that means that Do you she know what that means? actively hates her father. She has a very, very bad relationship with her dad, and she's not in therapy to work those issues out. So if she hates her dad, that means she has a I'm bad in a lot of therapy. What it's like to have a relationship <laughs> yes. with a man, and that's going to come out in the relationship with you. <laughs> I'm a red flag my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Partier, daddy issues, Damn. love bomber. What else? <laughs> I totally agree, and that's a red flag, 100%. If you're not in therapy, he's that, the act, If you're not actively oh. working in some capacity to get beyond that, he is 100% correct. If you have such hatred for another person and you've never addressed it, mm -hmm. and you've never taken personal responsibility to go yeah. speak to a therapist, right. to do whatever you need to do, figure out a way to address that, that works for you, that helps you to heal. You just don't know a person or what they went through. Like, if they hate their dad, there's clearly a good reason maybe yeah. the dad it's wasn't not their fault it's not their fault at all like right. there's... you don't pick your dad yeah yeah you have trauma and you're not actively trying to remedy it and get rid of your own <laughs> that is a red flag you have to be so self-aware when you're projecting that rage to, like directing that rage to someone who doesn't deserve it that's fine you don't have to like women that have daddy issues go find one that doesn't but don't comment on it. Dude, you act like it was my fault. Yeah. You act like I told my dad, dad, leave. Yeah. Exactly. Go. Yeah, you know? exactly. like, That's true. No, he walked out. Like, that wasn't my yeah. choice. That was his choice. Daddy issues. Red flag, I think. Yeah. Beige. Sorry. Red. It's not a red flag. No. I think you're allowed to have whatever issues you have, and you just need to find someone who's going to love you and help you through it. It's definitely a red flag in a girl. Like his hair, though. She wants and seeks validation from other men. That's a huge red flag. Ooh. If I see my girl wanting that attention from yeah. other men, and then yeah. how she I'm not gonna with it, has disagree no with this sense guy. Of respect for the guy on what he He does have a point. <laughs> but I think the truth is she just doesn't like you. Oh, I can see both sides. There's an extreme, and then there's just, you know, you just wanna look nice. You mm -hmm. and I are both wearing makeup. We are mm -hmm. both dressed a certain way. We mm -hmm. go out and we want attention from men and women, right? Mm -hmm. It's just how you project yourself. Everybody wants and seeks validation. We are human, it is built mm -hmm. into yeah. our nature. It's not like What's, it's just a gen specific gender that does that. Yes, the thing that is specific to what he's saying is her behavior. I feel like mm -hmm. if you're in a committed relationship, you should not be seeking validation from other men when you already have one that's giving you all the validation. We all, as humans, it's a natural thing to seek validation mm -hmm. from anyone. If she's acting on that impulse and like doing things that are not respectful to the relationship, yeah, red flag.
Yeah, Valid. period. <laughs> period. <laughs> Maybe you're not giving her the validation, so she's seeking it because you're not giving it to Ooh. her. That's happened to me before. That's true. So, yeah. Validation is duplication of what you're putting out, whether yeah. it's the physical or the things, the ideas you're communicating, your, yeah. your feelings, your thoughts, emotions. If you're giving someone everything you got and they're still looking in other places, that means they got a problem with themselves, not you. Red flag. Red flag. Mm -hmm. yeah. There it is. It is a red flag. It is a red flag. Beige. Yeah, it's kind of like it's like, I'm like, like, like more than half mast. There's so many different. A little more than half. Half mast. <laughs> I would say okay. half. Yeah. Three signs she's a red flag. Number one, she's always wearing makeup. If you have never seen her without makeup, she's an instant red flag. She's heartless. Oh she's God, evil. I love this guy. And she will destroy your soul. Yes. How could you expect a girl who wears Wait. makeup to love you when well, she doesn't even love herself? No, no, Every no, single no, no, day no, no. she cakes up her face, Ouch. looking like a 45 year old man in the 1800s, just to become somewhat attractive. And they're liars. They lie straight to your face with their. Face. Oh my God, I love this guy. I love him. Oh my God, I don't agree with anything he says, but I love him. He's hysterical. Wow, He's he is so. So passionate. Yeah. Yes. Wow. He Respect your cause. passion, but not what, uh, not the topic that it's wow. about, bro. He must have dated someone who was too good looking, and he just had to go off. Makeup is about a woman's taste. It is about, do whatever you need to do Preference. to make yourself feel good as long as it's not harming someone else. It's also a form of expressing yourself. It is. Like, yeah. This is the first thing people Look see. Look at her beautiful eyelashes here. Come on. It's a self-loving journey. And if you were a real man, you would support her and empower her self-love mm -hmm. and not create this weird narrative. You don't want to date me because I wear too much makeup? Yeah. That's fine. That you're not my people. That's your, you're yeah, not my person. But fine. that guy, he was so Valid. extreme. I, I just loved him. I loved him. Why do people care? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. They, they shouldn't care. care. They shouldn't care about how you present yourself. If you want to see a girl without makeup, bro, you can do it. Yeah. This is not it though. That's not it. Just tell her, girl, I love your natural beauty. I think you're incredible. Like, I want to yeah. see more of it. All right, three, two, one. Not a red flag. No, oh, no not a red flag. Yeah. Not a red flag. Not a red flag. Why am I holding it? You're no. a red flag. Not a red flag. <laughs> you're a red flag. So yeah. not, not a red flag. I don't think it's No. Like makeup? I actually encourage like guys that want to wear makeup wear makeup. Yes. That makes you more confident. Do it. Do, it. do you, boo? Are astrology girls red flags? <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Your mood depends on the position of Neptune <laughs> on any given Tuesday, then I think you have some more deep seated issues. You're telling me. Mm. Oh Yo, I'm sorry, God. this is cringe. It's just, it's cringe yeah. because like, they're literally just talking about things they don't understand. July. Oh yeah. I'm completely, no, I'm a completely different person. Same yeah. parents, same household, same school, same circle <laughs> of friends, same everything. But the fact that, you know, Mercury was in retrograde, you know. The vernal equinox. My rising all of a sudden is <laughs> Gemini. The fact that you know <laughs> that is already a little bit Tell me all this is playing into my personality. People using that as an excuse for their <laughs> Uh, behaviors. That's a huge red flag. Clearly, I don't think astrology is a red flag. It depends on how it's used, though. I just find interesting is like when I talk to folks who are super into astrology, yeah. they're like, yo, where the moon is makes a difference in like what we're experiencing as yeah. human. I don't really think I've ever met a woman that's like, oh, you're a cancer? I don't like you. Yeah, I've never met someone that's like, Oh, we can't be friends because your sign doesn't match. Like right. that's ridiculous. Yeah. That's I think that's ridiculous. I've had people literally just go like, "Oh, when were you born?" I'm like, "May." They're like, "Oh, you're a Taurus." I'm like, "Yeah." They're like, "We're not gonna be friends." So yeah, I was like, that's okay. You can justify anything that you believe in any way you need to, but the point is, no one should have to justify astrology to anyone. Is being into astrology a red flag? Three, two, one. No. 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 Not a red flag. Not no. a red flag. Not to a red flag. Be Official. <laughs> There that it is. is the last of our red flags. Yeah! Well done. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is my first time and I had an amazing time. I'm so glad Izzy was my first. Aww. What are your red flags? Let us know in the comments. Bye. 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 Bye.